Are you looking for the best pruning saw? In this video, we will break down the top pruning saws on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best pruning saws, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting off at number 1, we have the Silky 270-33 Zubat Professional Handsaw. Starting with a 13-inch curved, mono-constructed blade and a black polypropylene sheet, the 270-33 Zubat has a lot to offer. The blade itself is chrome-plated and rust-resistant, with an impulse-hardened, non-set tooth design and 6 and one half teeth per inch. Featuring a detachable belt holder, this saw weighs only 0.65 pounds, or 1.1 pounds when sheathed. Users often comment that the Zubat is more than a simple tree pruning saw, using it effectively for a number of tasks ranging from cutting tall grass to 6 inch posts with equal ease. The blade is durable and incredibly sharp, making the teeth less likely to get stuck when cutting tree branches than other saws. Owners of this saw also love the spring-loaded rollers used in the sheath design for superior retention. There is one major issue with the Zubat, and it is an increasingly common problem with products across the board. Many consumers have purchased this tool only to receive a variation with 300mm blade and plastic handle screws instead of the 330mm blade with metal handle screws. This variation is prone to breaking, and you will not know which version is shipped unless you order specifically from a reputable source. At number 2, we have the Samurai Ichiban GC330LH Curved Pruning Saw. Don't let the gimmicky name fool you. The Samurai is a clean-cutting tree pruner that makes you feel like a warrior. The blade is razor sharp, and the ergonomic handle allows for comfortable gripping as you tear into tree trunks. The included scabbard takes inspiration from sword scabbards, allowing the blade to snap in securely, while a quick release provides easy withdrawal. Consumers from all backgrounds have raved about the sharpness of the blade, commenting that simply touching it can break the skin. While this means extra care must be taken to keep it away from children and safe handling is a must, it also allows users to saw through even 12-inch logs with ease. Some users have even commented that it works more efficiently than electric saws, stating that a groove forms on the first pull, and even living branches can be cut with very little effort. There has been very little complaint about the Samurai, and the induction hardened blades hold up well against wear and tear. However, like other types of saws, the teeth will eventually wear out, and your first instinct will be to resharpen the blade. Those who have attempted this have found the quality of the blade drops after sharpening, making it more partial to simply replacing the blade after it wears down. The extreme sharpness of the blade also means you must be very careful when handling the saw to avoid injury. And at number 3, we have the Corona RS7395 Razor Tooth Pruning Saw. Corona has a reputation for quality saws, and the RS7395 is no exception. The SK5 steel blade has a higher carbon content than other saws, allowing the blade to dull much more slowly than the competition. Likewise, the chrome plating and triple ground, impulse hardened teeth create less friction while removing up to three times as much material per stroke. As a final bonus, the ergonomic no slip handle and blade are interchangeable, allowing you to switch between different blade lengths or handle shapes as needed for the perfect job every time. When it comes to the blade, consumers are quick to mention the extreme sharpness, the resistance to dulling, and how little it bends when sawing. They note very little maintenance is needed, and the same blade will still cut well after years of use. Users also appreciate how lightweight and narrow the blade is, making it an ideal tool for working in small or hard to reach spaces. There are three main complaints regarding the 7395. Owners have noted that the blade cuts mostly on the pole, requiring much more work than a blade which cuts both directions, such as a typical bow saw. While this doesn't diminish the cutting power on the pole, the extra strokes can make it seem less effective to some users. The second complaint is that it's not sold with a scabbard. Consumers note that between the price and the sharpness of the blade, including a scabbard improves both the value and safety for this saw. Finally, some saws have been known to arrive with one or more of the handle screws loose, and it's advised to tighten them before using it for the first time. So that sums up our top pruning saws. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.